Today we're going to be analyzing the very best way to invest $40,000 into rental real estate. Shindog from Jackson, California. This is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise. Behind the scenes, my man Tommy cutting the footage up for us. Today's show, this is a video for my client shindog from jackson california <clears throat> you have forty thousand dollars you want to invest it here in the cleveland market and i'm going to show you the best way uh to utilize that forty thousand dollars you have only ever had one rental property and apparently it went terrible because you my friend broke the number one rule when it comes to owning a rental property you rented your property to one of your friends one of your buddies one of your hombres one of your homies never ever 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 do that folks anybody else who's watching this show right now i'm gonna tell you right now do not fall into the trap of renting to your friends, your buddies, your family. It more often than not goes bad, and no matter what happens, you, the landlord, are going to look like the bad guy. And that apparently happened to Shindog. So, Shindog, now you're doing things totally different. You're investing in a cash flow market. You're investing in Cleveland, Ohio. And, of course, you're going to have professional property managers like Holton Wise take care of the asset for you. That makes the most sense. Now, <clears throat> you're interested in B or C properties. You're totally cool with Section 8. Uh, you're getting close to retirement age, though, so you wanted to keep your risk a little bit lower. And based on the advice of your wife, you do not want to invest in any of our suburbs out here in the Cleveland market that have the word heights in the name because the taxes are higher than uh, some of the other areas. And she's absolutely 100% correct. And let's face it, man, happy wife, happy life. If she wasn't 100% correct, you would still need to listen to her anyway. So that means no Garfield Heights, no Cleveland Heights. We're going to avoid stuff like that, right? We're going to look for something with low taxes. And what I did is I found two properties for you, both in Cleveland itself, which has uh, some of the lowest taxes in the market, in the greater Cleveland market, 2.79%, much lower than Garfield Heights, much lower than Cleveland Heights. So both of these properties, I think, are pretty solid deals. Uh, they're in C-class areas of Cleveland, but I think they're going to be very, very reasonable, and I have a strategy to best utilize those funds, and you could pick up one or the other with the amount of funds you have. Now, the first one, I'm going to get right into it. <clears throat> 3394 West 100th Street, Cleveland, Ohio, 44111. Let's just look at the photos first. Okay. There we go. We got ourselves a classic Cleveland duplex. Now, this thing has already got tenants in there, and those tenants are going to be our way to a solid deal for you, but we're going to come in through the back door, so to speak. It's not necessarily obvious right now that this property is an earner, but my friend, it is going to be an earner. We are going to take advantage of the situation. As you see, right, there's like a bunch of stuff, <clears throat> you know, in all the units, right? So it, it looks messy. It doesn't show well. But all in all, it's in pretty darn good shape. You're really just going to need to do cosmetic stuff. The first kitchen was pretty updated. This one is a little bit more outdated, but we will cover that. Okay. As for numbers, it is listed by a uh, brokerage called Howard Hanna. They have listed it for 69900 
As for the rent roll, <clears throat> it is bringing in $400 a month for the 2-1. And then the second floor unit uh, is actually a 3-1 because they have already finished off that attic. That is bringing in $450. So we're bringing a total of $850 a month or $10,200 a year. Now, Shindog, that doesn't sound good, uh, and it's not good, right? That's actually freaking horrible, and that is what you and I are going to take advantage of. That's how we are going to make money, because if you look at it right now, you run the numbers, you're bringing in eight fifty a month in rent. You run the basic stuff, you know, 42 estimate for repairs, maintenance, vacancy and non-payment. We're going to estimate another 42. Cap X, we're going to estimate another 42. So, you know, total for the year, you're estimating 1500 bucks because those things are going to happen. Taxes, 128 a month. Insurance, 80 bucks a month. For everybody who's watching the show that is investing in real estate or is planning on investing in real estate, if you need an insurance quote or you want to lower your current insurance quote, click the show notes below. Our insurance company, we handle insurance for landlords nationwide. And our whole business model is going to all the other insurance brokerages and getting you guys the lowest possible premiums so we can keep your ROA as high as possible. So new investors, current investors, old investors, longtime investors, y'all need insurance. Click the show notes below, Hogan Insurance. We will quote you. Uh, <clears throat> water and sewer, it's going to run you about 150 Lawn care, it's going to run you about 44 a month in Cleveland. We got to cut the grass 16, 18 times a year. We charge 33, 34 bucks a cut. Uh, so it averages out to 528 a year. Property management, my favorite expense, 85 bucks a month. So your total expenses on that rent, on average, you should expect to spend 613 a month just operating this property. That only leaves you with 237 a month. Now, Shindog, you want to finance this asset. So if you were to finance it, what does this look like? Well, it looks like shit, to be honest with you, right? <clears throat> Purchase price, $69.9. Your net operating income, on average, should be $237. You're going to put down $17,475, which is good. You have $40,000 cash to play with. Small mortgage payment, two sixty-five a month. I mean, your mortgage is teeny tiny. It's only fifty-two thousand four and a quarter. That, my friend, is going to net out a net loss on average if things go how they're supposed to on an average month. You are going to lose twenty-eight dollars a month, or three hundred thirty-six dollars a year. So you might be wondering, what the hell did I pay? Holton Wise, why did I pay James Wise to, to find me a deal? He found me a deal that I am going to lose $28 a month. You wanted to make at least 10%. The fact that you are going to lose money on this deal as it currently sits, this is where the opportunity is going to lie. Now, looking at the notes, uh, this is what the realtor wrote. Two-family colonial, close to the highway. Both units are occupied. No current leases. Tenants pay gas and electric. Bonus third floor. Attic is finished. Great investment property. Now, I've got a hunch. I've got a hunch that this particular real estate agent is not used to working with rental properties, right? You know, the first notes, you know, the notes. Great investment property. You and I just ran the numbers. It's a dud. It doesn't make any money, right? You know, it could be a great investment property when done the right way, but as it currently sits, this sucker, it loses money, and I think that's where the value is going to lie for you. Now, as far as those rents go, we should be able to get you, for the two-bedroom unit, we should be able to get you $750 a month, no problem. As far as the three-bedroom, we should be able to get you $800 a month, no problem. So, that 850 in all actuality it's really supposed to be 1550 a month that's an additional $700 a month more in net profit right cuz you know getting those higher rents it's really not going to increase those costs it's still the same unit uh, so that should be an extra $700 more than you're anticipated so with your $28 a month loss if you're getting the rents you should be getting the fifteen fifty a month. It's really a profit of six hundred seventy-two dollars a month after you pay your mortgage. Now, those are some serious numbers. That's some serious return. And here is the best part: <clears throat> because it is so crummy right now, 
I don't want you to pay $69.9. I don't think you have to pay $69.9. You know, we have a nice unit, a nice duplex like this in this neighborhood renting for, you know, reasonable rates. Not even super nice. We're looking at around eighty grand. This is already $10,000 cheaper. But in my opinion, it appears to me, based upon the brokerage, the way the notes have been written, I believe we've got a person who hired this particular realtor probably because this realtor you know it's probably like a, a family realtor right the person that owns this probably lives in a nice 250 300,000 dollar house in the suburbs and this is probably the realtor that handles those types of transactions right so that's great that's what 95 percent of the realtors out here do probably not even 95 percent it's actually probably more like 99.9 percent .9%. that's what those folks do man that's what you know, people normally do, uh, you know, when they get into the real estate space. And, uh, you know, when those one-off situations, you know, they know the particular realtor and they have like one random rental property, they probably just hire that realtor because they know. Because I would not assume that this particular seller owns more than one rental property because they don't know what they're doing, right? The rents are supposed to be fifteen fifty. They're renting them for four hundred and four fifty, and we don't even have leases, which is good for you because you need to get those rents up or you need to get those tenants out of there, right? Now, normally I'm against uh, artificial turnover. You know, I don't think you should boot people out in an effort to spend five, ten thousand dollars renovating their unit. Uh, but you're not really making any money with them in the property currently. You know the market rents. They're 750 and they're 800 okay? So you know that. You know that's what you can get. Do I think you need to immediately tell those folks to move out? No, but I think you need to come in there like, hey, man, you're paying 400 bucks a month for a two-bedroom. Your rent's going to go up to 550 this year. You know, do it with the other guy too. Send them both to 550 You'll make okay money right then and there. Maybe they both stay. You don't have to spend any money on rehab. Then the following year, increase it another 50 or 75 or 100 bucks. Eventually, they're going to move out. When they move out, you're going to need to spend some money renovating those units. Depending on which unit you renovated, the one had a pretty nice kitchen. The other one had an old crappy kitchen. So you're looking at, you know... Old units, these folks have probably been in there forever. I would estimate between like five and ten thousand dollars. The ten thousand dollar would be the one where you needed to redo the kitchen. You got to get premium upgrades in there. Um, the other unit was in decent shape, so five or less probably, right? No telling exactly when that's going to be because we don't a hundred percent know uh, what those tenants are willing to pay. But I'll tell you out here, man, in the Cleveland market, there's no way they're getting a two bedroom. Uh, unit for 400 bucks a month in a neighborhood like this. It's just not happening. It's it's uh, unconscionable that the current the current seller's renting it for that rate. So if you try to go to 750, like top of the market, yeah, they'll probably move out. But you know, you could probably get them up to 550 pretty darn easily with no turnovers, make a little bit of money, just keep saving all that cash flow, knowing that as soon as they move out, you're going to be able to increase those rents. And the last thing, the thing I like about this, we got a seller. So that, you know, I, I was trying to say this earlier, I think, but I started trailing off. We got a seller. My opinion, it looks like they hired an agent that is not focused on investment properties. That's one. Number two, looks like the seller doesn't really know much about anything about renting properties because if they did, they wouldn't be giving away the rent like this, right? So with those two factors in mind, plus in addition to that, the house shows, you know, crappy, right? It doesn't really look good in the photos. Uh, it, it It's fine as a rental property, but like, you know, showing wise, if you're dealing with a realtor who's used to selling houses by just showing the house, I don't think it shows well. So those three factors, man, I think we go in aggressively, right? Should be worth like 80K if you're getting like reasonable rents for a reasonable duplex, you know, moderate level of fixtures, moderate level of age of the roof, hot water tank furnaces, like nothing in this is going to be new. Don't expect it to be new. I highly doubt it. You know, you're going to, of course, write your offer contingent on inspection, and I'm sure your furnaces uh, are going to be probably 15, 20 years old. I don't see why they'd be new. Just so you know, they last 30 years and they cost about three grand to replace. Hot water tanks, I don't see why they'd be new, but uh, those last roughly 15 years. They cost about a grand to replace. Okay, the roof, the roof's probably like a five, probably like a seven thousand dollar roof. They last about 30 years, right? I don't anticipate any of that stuff's new. I'm sure it's all somewhere in the the mid to like third quarter range uh, of its age. You know that. A duplex like that, renting for a reasonable amount with fixtures like that in this neighborhood is worth about 80K. This is already listed for 70K, but again, realtor doesn't focus on investment properties. Seller, probably not a professional landlord, and it shows like shit.
we could use those three things to go in and try to get this thing low. I say we make an offer in the low 60s, 60, 61, 62. See what we can do because everybody else looking at it is probably looking at the current numbers. And currently, it's a fucking dog. It's a loser. But you, being the smart guy that you are, hired me to analyze it. And you can go into this with complete confidence knowing that it shouldn't really rent for 850. It should be renting for almost double that. And I don't blow smoke, right? You guys watch Holton Wise TV. I sell you the good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, this isn't my listing either. I'm not selling this property. I have nothing to do with this property other than you, Shindog, wanting me to analyze it for you. So I, I have no incentive um, to tell you it's going to be sweet, so I wouldn't lie about it, right? And you guys, you watch my content. When shit's fucked up, I, I tell you guys shit's fucked up. I mean... That's what I do. So you can go into this with confidence knowing that that rent that I gave you, that fifteen fifty, that is very, very reasonable. Let's use it to our advantage during the negotiation stage. Try to get this in the low 60s and then slowly increase those rents. And then whenever we get a natural turnover, let's spend the money and then bring in new tenants at complete market rent. Now, I want to go to a, a word from the sponsor of today's show. Then I'm going to get into the second property I found for you. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business, who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to holtonwise.com today. All right, Shindog, welcome back, brother. Now, next property I've got up for you. 4603 Ardmore, Cleveland, Ohio, 44144. Price, 75600 Now, that is extremely important. Uh, 44144, okay? This is, if you look at the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods, anybody who hasn't heard of that, in the show notes below, I've got it, or you just punch it into Google. Graded every neighborhood based on risk um, in the Cleveland market, A, A to F scale. Old Brooklyn, which is where this is located, I have graded that as a C. Now, Old Brooklyn is uh, 44109. And it is a neighborhood in Cleveland, but it's in the city of Cleveland. There's also a suburb. It's called Brooklyn, and that has a zip code 44144. I have graded that as a B property. Now, this is Cleveland. It's in the old Brooklyn neighborhood, not to be confused with the suburb, which is Brooklyn. However, this has a 44144 zip code. It's like right on the border. So this is not the suburb, Brooklyn. This is in old brooklyn which is cleveland but this particular part you know how they say uh it's like a street by street basis when you're grading neighborhoods like the overall neighborhood i've graded it as a c i've graded brooklyn as a b but if you're like narrowing this down on a street by street level this is literally the nicest part of old brooklyn it's very similar to the city of brooklyn so if, you know, all things being considered, it, it, it could like, you know, B minus, C plus, it's right there, right? So this is good on the location front. Now, it's a totally uh, vacant duplex, right? This is bank owned. Let's just cruise through the photos. Just traditional Cleveland duplex, all right? You got the hardwoods. We're going to have to probably buff those. We're going to have to paint these. We want to go agreeable gray. Woodwork looks pretty darn nice. Uh, I'll leave that up to my maintenance crew. I don't know if they're going to want to keep it that color or they're going to want to whitewash it. Okay. Uh, just so you know. Right here, fireplace, as you can see, already capped. You got to cap those. You don't want the damn tenant setting your house on fire. Which reminds me, Tommy, 
we have got to finish the Tenants from Hell video where they sent uh, set my house on Memphis, uh, Memphis Avenue in Cleveland. They set it on fire. We uh, we had that fire happen last year, and we never finished the episode. So, uh, folks, stay tuned to Holton Wise TV. Uh, Tommy's got to put that together for me. we got to get that out there for you guys. There's a lot of good stuff in that uh, story that we have to tell you about what to do when your tenant sets your house on fire. In my particular case, I believe uh, somebody smoked a bunch of weed on the front porch. Uh, they left the blunt uh, like on like a potted plant. It was like a like a wicker type thing or something, and it smoldered. They left. Boom! Set my whole friggin' house on fire. But, you know, more on that will be in that show. Uh, but just cruising. Just, you know, traditional old Brooklyn duplex here. Uh, this kitchen, you know, very salvageable. Honestly, don't really need to do all that much to it. The cabinets, they look great. Countertop looks pretty good. I uh, really just hitting this thing up with some color. Um, bathroom, eh, it's okay. Uh... Um, <clears throat> this one, this one's a little, little rougher, a little more outdated. So you're going to want to put some more work into that. Um, these furnaces are old, man. These are old as hell. Uh, I would say these got to be more than 50 years old. Um, so that is what the property currently looks like. As far as the rents after we renovated it, you're looking at seven fifty a pop or 1500 a month, 18,000 a year. Now, what do we got to do to get to 1500 a month out of this property based on all those photos and based on those old furnaces i'm thinking now this is a very rough estimate right you have not got this property inspected this is a desktop analysis right my team has not actually been inside the property your inspector hasn't been inside the property just based on my knowledge running a 50 million dollar portfolio out here hundreds of properties just like this i'm thinking we're going to spend roughly fourteen thousand bucks on things that I could just like see right now, knowing that my guys are going to have to go and cosmetically fixing stuff up, doing some upgrades in the kitchens and the baths, making these things nice, look good for the tenants. We're going to spend around like, like 14 k In addition to that, we're probably going to need to spend about $6,000. I don't know. I mean, those furnaces, they could work right now. I'm just going to pencil it in right now that you should uh, – pencil in another 6k maybe they, uh you know we send the guys in there and they, they fire up and they work and you get to run them for like two years cool good for you but they're like 50 years old dude so you might as well factor it in now because you know they're not going to last much longer so i'm thinking 20k so 75,600 purchase price the asking price twenty thousand uh, dollars in estimated repairs that would take your total investment to ninety five thousand six hundred if you did all that, you're bringing in 1500 bucks a month in rent, going through our normal expenses. Uh, we're going to save 900 a year for repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non-payment, and those capital expenditures, things like those furnaces. So just so you know, right, if we put two brand new furnaces in there, you spend that $6,000 up front with your upfront reno, it's going to make your cash on cash look lower now, um, and it should look lower based on our estimates. But remember... You just put those in here today. So that's $6,000 that we're normally, you know, budgeting $75 a month towards things like that that you don't have to worry about for, you know, another 30 years, right? Because you, you know you're going to get 30 years out of them because you just put them in. So think of that because, you know, it's on our chart. It doesn't show up as your return. But in all actuality, that money goes to you and you're just saving. So you, you got to think of stuff like that. Taxes, 176 a month. Insurance, we'll be able to insure this for 80 a month. Again, can't stress this enough. If you're a new investor, current investor, anybody who's trying to make money in real estate, you got to have your expenses be lower than your income. I think we all understand that. So click in the show notes below. Hogue Insurance, that's my insurance company. I run that with a partner. His name is Kevin. You want to reach out to him and get a quote. He will take care of you. We only deal with investors, guys. He's not going to try to insure your boat or your family home. We just want them rental properties, and we're going to beat the hell out of your premium. Get it down. Water sewer, estimating that at 150. Long care, same thing, 44. Property management, 150 bones to yours truly. On average, I anticipate you're going to spend 825 a month to operate this bad boy, leaving you with 675 a month or 8100 a year in net operating income if it was a cash deal but that's not your gig right you got 40 g's so you're going to get a loan so what does that look like well 
56700 is what the bank's going to kick in. You're only going to need to kick in 18900 tiny little mortgage. 287 that's going to leave you with 388 a month in anticipated cash flow or $4,656 a year. Now, what you would normally do is you would normally take your estimated net cash flow after mortgage, which is our 4656 and divide that by your down payment to get your cash on cash return. Got to do something a little different here because, remember, we got no tenants, and I think you need to spend around 20 k to get tenants to get that rent. So you got to add that in. So you're not dividing 4656 by 18900 you're going to divide it by 38900 And what do you know? Coincidentally, that still kept you under that $40,000. That, my friend, would be a 12% cash-on-cash return, and you would have a premium duplex, in my opinion, a premium Cleveland neighborhood, which allows you to still get the benefits of those low taxes, that 2.79% tax rate, as opposed to the higher taxes in Cleveland Heights, Garfield Heights, Warrensville Heights, Bedford Heights, any of the other heights that your wife uh, knows is high. And for everybody else who's interested in knowing what the tax rates are in each of the neighborhoods here in the uh, greater Cleveland area, go ahead and either click the show notes below or Google the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. I've put them all in there for you. Uh, last thing, uh, I always like to disclose it. Again, this is not my listing. So this particular property, Shindog, this is listed by a company called um, owners.com. If you want to buy this property or the first property, the one on West, um, you can do one of two things. You could reach out to the listing agent, so owners.com or Howard Hanna, based on whatever property you like, or you can have my team handle it for you, sales at holtonwise.com. Now, the first one, remember, man, I want you to go low. My goal is for you to utilize all those advantages we talked about, those things we know about the property that a lot of people probably don't, and you're going to try to get that in the low 60s. Now, this bad boy, nicer neighborhood, uh, I think you're going to need to pay at least 70 to take this one down, but this is a solid earner. So if you would like uh, me, my personal sales team, my folks here at Holton Wise to handle this for you, handle no th those negotiations for you, we will do that. Sales at HoltonWise.com if you want to make an offer on one or both or if you want to go to directly to the listing agents, that's totally cool. Now, smart move, getting the analysis. Definitely you made the right choice, but this does not mean we could still go in and make as-is offers. Let's do our due diligence. You want to make both these offers contingent on a home inspector. Uh, any home inspector you want, man, whoever you want to hire. If you want referrals, I got them. Don't worry. We'll get them to you. My staff, again, if you want us to represent you, we'll handle your negotiations. We'll work to schedule your home inspectors, get them in there. I'll talk to you about that home inspection. We'll be going back and forth with the sellers and the seller's agents, trying to get you the best deal. Um, both of these, I think, are going to work for you just great. Uh, I have an aggressive bidding strategy, especially on the first one. So that's why it's smart that you got the two property analysis here. So we have both options because who knows if, uh, you know, you'll have the opportunity to take both of them down. You know, the sellers might on the first property, even though there's a lot of reasons why it makes sense for you to try to get it low. And I think we got a good shot. The sellers, you know, they could be super stubborn and they could still say no, things like that. Or maybe other buyers come in and see the value that you and I have seen. Um, they're not going to see that value through this video, though, because... These stay as private links and, until the deals are gone. I don't want anybody coming in to snake your deal, Shindog. The only people watching this right now are you and myself and anybody you've shared the link with. Uh, anybody else who's watching this, I'm talking to the general public now. If you're watching this and you're a member of the general public, Shindog saw this video probably 60 or 90 days before you had the opportunity to view it on Holt Mice TV. Well, that's everything I've got for you, Shindog, man. I appreciate you getting the analysis and uh, hope to work with you here. Hope my team can handle the negotiations for you. Uh, more information on our property management services can be found on HoltonWise.com. Just go to the FAC, the property management FAC. Ah, one more thing. I didn't even mention this, too, because you had said um, your risk tolerance, right? You're getting close to retirement age. You want to keep that risk tolerance low. The rents, the figures I gave you, that's all cash-paying stuff. 
Another option we have with these properties, we could go Section 8 with our Section 8 program. If you go to HoltonWise.com, Property Management Fact, there's a Section 8 fact. Uh, we'll show you how we handle the whole Section 8 program. If we go with the Section 8 program, A, it's going to reduce your risk even more because it's government guaranteed rent, and B, we might even be able to get those rents up 50 or 100 bucks per unit from what I quoted you earlier if we go to the Section 8 program. So that's another option, and if you want to rerun all your numbers based upon that new information, you'll see that both these properties far and away exceed that 10% you're hoping to get. So with that, man, that's all I've got. Everybody that's watching this, do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button. Do me a favor and smash that like button. And if you want more information on the Cleveland market, I've put a link in the show notes below. It's uh, called Mentioned in the Show. In that link, it's stuff I talked about on the show. I've got a few videos in there I think you're going to watch. The first being a few videos about our Tennis from Hell show. That's what I was talking about earlier with the house catching on fire. That episode isn't launched yet, but you're going to see some other stuff. I want to show you guys the true costs and true experiences you'll get if you're a real estate investor out here in the Cleveland market. In addition to that, I'm going to share a couple more episodes uh, of a show that I also run here on Holtmeister TV called the Investment Properties for Sale Show. That is a show where I am selling properties. I am the number one seller of rental property in Cleveland. So if you don't want to hire me uh, to give you a full personalized show or an investment analysis like I've done here for properties you see on the market or that you want me to find you, you just want to get education and get the same investor's take on properties that I'm selling, which also come with full video tours, check the mentioned on the show section of the show notes because I'm going to link a few shows of the Investment Properties for Sale show as well. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, holding wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full-service property management 
We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.